So, <laughs> this is me back two years ago. Um, medyo ano pa, new sa workforce. So, I'm gonna engrave this photo on an A4 sheet of balsa wood. So, this is 2 millimeters thick. And it's pretty smooth. Treated na tong wood na to. So, it'll be a good finish na. The problem is, we need to tweak the image for wood engraving. Kasi medyo di siya ideal. So, what do I mean by that? So, I will open Photoshop. And then, <laughs> we have to tweak some things. So, sa wood engraving kasi, it's easier if you could open the image, medyo contrasty na siya. Kasi sa machine, obviously, it will not engrave color so you need to convert it to black and white and you have to adjust certain parameters such as the red colors the yellow so that it will give a contrasting look mahirap kasi if ano lang medyo gray siya because the machine cannot read the gray colors but once i dither it you have to go to mode gray scale just flatten discard and then image mode bitmap Mayroon ditong method to diffuse it by dithering. So, it's basically converting all the pixels na gray to black or white lang. So, the machine could read or engrave it. Inkscape. So, in Inkscape, this is how actually I convert the image to machine readable format. So, it's taking a bit longer than usual. Wait lang ha. Yan. You can just see na andyan yung layout niya. So, I'm gonna zoom in for a while. So there, I I think I'm gonna crop this one. I'm gonna erase a few parts of the image because it's distracting, especially in background. We're gonna create a rectangle just at the borders of the image. Um, any color or rectangle would do. Just enough to define the borders so that later we could align this or we could center the image. So ayan lang. So after this one, we're gonna save it as .svg. It's, this is very important. Dapat dot .svg siya. Open our another software called K40 Whisperer. So this is the software that communicates with the machine. So the machine is this one. Ito yung machine natin. In 3, 2, 1. So yeah, this is the machine. Ang daming paraphernalia. No? This is the laser cutter or laser engraving machine. We have uh, tools here. So, yan na yung wood, yung ating balsa wood. So, it's just that. Nakalagay lang sa dyan. So, we're gonna turn on the machine later and we're gonna configure this one so that perfect ating engraving. So, for a while, I'll go back to our software. And we're gonna need safety goggles para hindi tayo mabulag. Alright? So, it's laser and it's infrared so that we're gonna protect our eyes. Dapat mag-goggles tayo. So, yun lang. So, we're gonna turn on the power sa machine. So, it's in a breaker so we're gonna turn on the blower we're gonna turn on the pumps and water pump for cooling the laser tube and of course the machine itself but the laser is still turned off so once the machine is on you're gonna see the light turn on and then the red dot the red dot jenna all right so let's go back to the software so in the machine i've integrated the camera that could see the bed of the laser cutter so we're gonna first initialize the machine so it will detect the machine is turned on so we're gonna open our file once we have the file imported sa ating k40 whisperer software it's like this i already rotated it in such a way as it will fit sa bed natin kasi it doesn't fit pag vertical so before we could cut we should first focus on a few settings. Yeah. So before we even start engraving, we must first define the borders and the blue borders. We must first center it sa ating bed because sometimes the wood is not centered, so we're gonna center it. So I'm gonna put vector engrave, yung naka blue kasi, yung naka vector engrave, yan yung blue. I'm gonna set that to 50 millimeters per second and just see where the machine goes. If tama ba ang ating pagka center. I think so. We are centered. Dapat. Yan. You could see where the machine will cut. And I think we're off center. Just 2 millimeters. So we're gonna adjust the machine to 2 millimeters going down. Kasi, so right now we're gonna go to the machine and set the power setting laser. So right. It's also important to check the height of the laser head 
yung saan yung dot and sa, sa wood so that's supposedly 1 cm lang approximately so if you go higher or deep or near that range yung ating focal length uh, the results will not be that good so that's it so I'm gonna close the lid and arm the laser supposedly pag mag engrave tayo we wear our goggles it's still 0% power so we're gonna make it 25 kasi we're gonna engrave we're not gonna cut anything done so we're gonna click that and we're gonna wait for the machine to load up so as you can see it's making a lot of data sa ating image and it's gonna send that to the machine one by one and then the machine will engrave it because it will interpret the data like a code or instruction where to strike the laser where not to strike the laser where to place the head ang tawag natin to head kasi ang laser kasi galing sa likod may tube dyan and it is being reflected off the mirrors and the mirrors are the ones being moved by the machine so that's how a laser cutter operates so I think it's still not complete I'm gonna show you once it's cutting na I'm sorry engraving pala so for a while ah yeah, next start na engraving. So we're gonna see that it's engraving a very small thing on the edge. And since we're using a camera, we're using a camera kasi because it's uh, safer. Okay, you don't need to see directly with the eye. Yeah, it's engraving, and all those smoke generated from the engraving process is being blown off by the head. Kasi yung head natin pressurized with air, it blows off the soot that that will I know will generate and it will not damage the lens or yung kanyang mechanism dito so the soot will be spread out sa loob ng machine and then it will be sucked by our blower from the outside so it's a very complicated machine but its concept is very simple it, it just reflects the laser off of these mirrors down to the laser tube I can smell na the burned smell of wood so ayan, we're just gonna wait no? I think it will be done in just 30 minutes or less Kasi mostly white space to sa ating sides Ayun lang Okay